my films always had the same point of view, and they still do today. And people tell me that when they see my first film, it looks like my last. I cared about human beings, not about social, not about political issues. I cared about positive attitudes towards life, not about who to attack and who to make fun of. And although I made my fair share of make fun of movies in the 60s, I regret them now, my best movies celebrated life, celebrated people, diversity, expression, honesty. And my first film, my very first film, I was 22 years old, made in the mountains of North Carolina in Appalachia about a man then 90 who was a collector of mountain music. I applauded this man. I was 22 years old. And when PBS asked me to go back and remake that film 30 years later, I still applauded him. So that would be my view of, that's just my view of life. I mean, that things are good and that people are good. So he was 120 years old then? <laughs> no, he was 90 when I was 22. Yeah. When they asked me to go back and make later. that film, oh, I see. No, they asked me to go back and make the film about his culture and what happened to him. Oh. What effect he had. <laughs> just checking, yeah. I was going to say. He's so what's his secret? Maybe there's just, a health thing we should it, do. Yeah, is, yeah, it yeah, it is it yogurt? <laughs> is it mountain music? I, I just need to know. Okay. Tell me if you're not getting what you want and I'll no, make certain no, I that I... What I'm trying to get at is um, if there were any issues in the 60s, if there were any, if no. there were any movements. Good question. Okay, I got you. I got you. you. That sort of galvanized yep. you as a filmmaker. I got you. Yeah. There were two kinds of people in the 60s, politicos and the rest of us. You got to remember that every statistic I've ever seen indicates that at the most, a couple of million people were political. At the most. There were 33 million at least baby boomer countercultural types. I was one of those. That was the real rebellion. And every film I made expressed that rebellion, expressed the idea that there were different ways of looking at life just as good, maybe better, as the norm. And every film that I did, be it a collector of pinball machines in New York, I made a film on a guy like that, a gambler on Long Island who went to Las Vegas to gamble from my culture, um, Puerto Rican kids in New York uh, trying to express their culture by making a movie, um, a dress designer. I always tried to present that there was an alternative way to be in America, just as acceptable, maybe more acceptable, than what the norm was. That was my, that was my rebellion. It wasn't about which political party you stood for or what economic system should replace capitalism. That didn't interest me at all. It still doesn't.